Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Going to start a new video series now that I got my Xbox Series X. I can start my Xbox team, which will be 1000% free to play. So I got my console a couple days ago and we started the free to play team. We opened up the loyalty packs, uh, unbelievable polls, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to walk you through everything that I did and this should help out players that are brand new because I'm going to show you exactly the cards that I would target if I was completely no money spent. Um, I also need to point out that I'm not going to be playing a ton of hours um, on my free to play team. So I'm trying to make it as if, you know, you have like five to 10 hours a week to play NHL. Um, that way it stays as realistic as possible for you guys that are free to play that just, you know, play the game casually. Um, um, and, and are looking for some help to build out your team. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, but let's build the free-to-play Pelicans, guys. This is episode one of our free-to-play team. Let's get into it. All right, so obviously, first things first, you just want to build your team and start ripping the starter pack squad, and it's not going to be pretty, guys. Like, you're never going to get anything good, and the last few cards, you might be, you know, you might have some use, but as you go through the silvers and bronze, like, I end up with Joe Thornton, Melker Carlson, and Sorensen. I mean, Sorensen having distributor is pretty nice, but outside of that, we look at what we've got here now, and it's just not going to be very good. So we got to take our first steps to try and, uh, and build the squad. But I did have some loyalty packs, and that's common. A lot of players that have played NHL 20 on their console, uh, you're going to have loyalty packs. So uh, let's see uh, how the loyalty packs fared for me. I almost went to the store to buy packs. It's I've got to get that. I've got to get that out of here. Let's go. Big pulls, boys. Big pulls. That ain't it. Huge pull! Huge pull! Oh, Chad, I should have masked up. Oh my god, dog. Dude, I just made 70k. It's that easy. It's that easy, boys. Dude, are you <laughs> I'm cracked. Dude, this is too easy. This is too easy, chat. This is too easy. Alright, so that pack was easy. That's already like 140k. Done. Bang! Oh my god. Alright, that's pack one. Pack two, let's go! I bet I'm not pulling anything else since then. Or after that. Okay, okay, okay. We have our starting goaltender. Oh my god, are you joking me? Yo, we're just gonna make a master item. Dude, that's 210,000 coins. All right, so after those insane pulls, getting those three gold collectibles was obviously fantastic. That's like 200k in value. So basically, after all those cards or those pulls from the loyalty packs, I didn't really get anyone substantial for my lineup. But Brovsky is going to be my starting goaltender. Uh, but other than that, here's the squad right now. It's a lot of guys in their 70s, a few 80s, but nothing crazy here. And on defense, it's uh, looking really ugly, in my opinion. So we're going to have to do some work. But again, we have all those coins from the gold collectibles. Guys, if you start out your free-to-play team and you pack a collectible, do not save it um, to, to try and make something early on. You're never going to have enough value. It's going to take you so long. Always sell the tradable collectibles, even if you're hut rich, in my opinion, uh, because you can make them for a lot cheaper. You know, you can get gold players for around a 1,000 coins. That's 50K. You know, there's no reason to spend 65, 70K for each collectible. So uh, once you've, you know, you've ripped all your loyalty packs, Go through your team, make sure that you've got all the players, the best ones possible, so that way you know what you're working with. And then we'll get into actually going over the marketplace and seeing what guys that I targeted for my team early on. The last thing before we get into the actual auction house to show you those real quick is I want to make sure that you guys go through the tip video. If you've watched my how to get ahead video, um, I go through all this. But make sure you do these tips, uh, these tip sets. They're really easy to do. It takes you like two seconds. Go through them, make sure they're all complete, and you'll get like an actual pack that has some gold players in it. So it's always worth the pull, and uh, you'll see why in a second. All right, Spiza will make the squadron. He will make the squadron. <laughs> Dude, these Pelly pulls, bro. The Pelly pulls. Oh my god, dude. It's just too easy, bro. Dude, what is this? Get away from me, bro. This is so sus. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Need to also talk about like upgrade sets and whatnot. The silver upgrade set I would always recommend doing no matter what. Uh, even, you know, I would recommend selling even the tradable ones that you get. 
Always try and see, you know, or try and do tra untradeable cards for these sets because you're not losing any value. You can sell silver cards on the auction house, but you're not going to get all that much. So uh, I would take advantage of doing this set for two gold players, especially early on when you're trying to build a team because you might get a card that's above 80 overall. You never know. So uh, make sure that you're doing the silver cards. I wouldn't really sell in the auction house. You could. I think I do in this video, but like the tra untradeable ones for sure. Make sure you do untradeable first. And that way it gives you sell, you know, it gives you some options here, but uh, make sure you're doing that. The gold one, though, the eight gold players, do not do that set. I don't find that value to be high enough at all. What I would recommend doing is, you know, your untradeable golds, use those for icons and or gold collectibles. Don't trade them in because, I mean, after, you know, five doing five of those rerolls, you basically, you're, you're probably going to be left with like 10, 80 overall cards where you could have had a shot at a gold collectible or an icon collectible so just make sure you're watching out for that guys and when it comes to the sets just do the silver upgrade set and then sell your tradable gold players um, but the untradable ones use those in uh, the collectible sets All right, so now basically I've gotten enough coins because I sold my collectibles and I, I sold basically any tradable gold card that I had or silver card that I had. Um, I basically put up for the cheapest buy now, which was I believe like 1050 for golds and like 400 or 350 coins for the silver cards just because I wanted to clear out everything in my inventory and make sure I had all of the coins in front of me because I think in all honesty that's the best way to build a team. So I go through, you see here I'll get Claude Giroux for about f I believe 5,700 coins. He's a great card uh, something i noticed doing this team is that i just the amount of money that you've got to spend to get distributor activated is nowhere near worth the cost i've said this a number of times but now i'm going to show you why because early on you can get a ton of cheap cards that have speedster or howitzer which is basically the same benefit obviously distributor on top of those cards is an advantage but the 300 extra thousand you've got to put in to get mediocre cards individually but just to get that distributor activated just not worth it especially Especially early on so the cards I'm targeting here um, throughout this first episode are gonna be guys that have speedster uh, or howitzer almost all of them so you don't just do the minimum to act, get it activated all of them because again it just boosts up the important stats howitzer specifically all four of the stats that it impacts is very important in gameplay and then speedster obviously as well four to speed and four uh to wrist shot power as well so you'll see here that i'm going to pick up the uh, patrick marlowe the duo one again another good card for an extremely low price well under ten thousand coins and i just go through this in the auction house for all positions until i complete my lineup and again a lot of it is just you know the really cheap cards that have speed and howitzer so let's jump ahead and i'll show you guys um my team now i have to mention that i spent probably seventy thousand coins max on my team here now obviously i got blessed with three gold collectibles right off the rip and a lot of people aren't going to have anywhere close to that in their loyalty pack so i need to address that fact but seventy thousand coins isn't uh, doesn't take a ton or a long time to make you can just do basically one week rewards and you'll have more than that so um just keep that in mind but here's the team that i ended up with after spending about seventy thousand coins all right, so we'll take a look at the team. First line ended up being the Ovechkin that I pulled with Claude Giroux and Patrick Marlowe, again with Speedster, making them really fast and totally usable, and Claude Giroux has really good face-off rating. Second line, Phil Kessel with Speedster, Kopitar with good face-offs, and that Nikolai Ehlers card with Howitzer is really nice as well. Again, really fast uh, for base cards. Third line is the Philip Forsberg with Speedster, Larkin for face-offs and quickness, and then JT Miller with Howitzer is actually a really well-rounded mid-80s card. And then on the fourth line, uh, we've got Matthew Barzell, Ryan Johansson and Sebastian Ajo again all with the howitzer synergy Matthew Barzal specifically played extremely good for me in my first few games he was a really really good card and then on defense, we got Chris Letang and Morgan Riley. Again, speedster synergy, making them fast enough and usable enough early on. Speed is what is going to be prioritized the most on defense early on, guys, more than size, because you need to at least be able to keep up with these guys that, you know, have just have nuts, gnarly fast teams. So Letang was a really good option for me. On the second line, we got the Halloween Adam Fox, as well as the uh, lit Quinn Hughes. And again, just speed is what I'm prioritizing on that. And then on the third line, we ended up with Dougie Hamilton with the Howitzer Synergy and then Goss's Bear, who's just another cheap option that's decent skater. But again, Speedster and Howitzer are what we're prioritizing. And then in net, uh, I got Bobrovsky. It really won't matter. Distributor, I'm not trying to activate or anything like that right now, but that's who I'm putting in net.
So guys, that is the team before I even play a game. Now, obviously, like I said, I got extremely lucky with those three gold collectible pulls, and 99% of you aren't going to have that experience. But you can see 70k in my team, and I built a usable team that I can use for squad battles, for rivals, it doesn't matter. Um, that, you know, at least isn't going to get destroyed by every single team. Obviously, the, the powerhouse teams like my PlayStation team, uh, it's going to have a rough time against, but there's nothing you can do about that. So the next steps um, after you build your team and you go through you want to make sure you're just trying to get as many packs as possible to increase your chances so um do some squad battles as many as you can you know you don't have to rush it or, or try to cram in every single one um pro even the pro rewards are fine and then rivals same thing just play the game until you're sick of it um or you know you're, you you've got enough to get probably about gold is where i would want to stick for that and then hut champs i'm really not worrying about i'm not going to grind that every weekend i'm going to do hut champs on my playstation team because that team is just there's very little reason for me to grind rivals and squad battles on that team because it doesn't need any more rewards so guys that is the first episode of our free to play pelicans make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you make sure you don't miss another episode and let me know what you think in the comments section down below guys i will see you next time